A coax transmission line can radiate, but not because of SWR. The problem is caused by skin effect. At radio frequencies, the current in the conductor flows just in the skin of the conductor. So you can think of coax cable as actually having three conductors. How so? There's the center conductor surrounded by the shield, conductor number one, the inner part of the shield, conductor number two, and the outer part of the shield, conductor number three. Now consider this. At the antenna, conductors number two and three, the inner and outer shield, are both connected to the same side of the antenna. Do you see a problem here? Now, some of the current from the inside of the shield can go down the outside of the shield. They're both connected together at the antenna. It's that current flowing down conductor number three, the outer shield, that can radiate. It's called common mode current. Common mode current can cause all kinds of problems. You can win the Worked All Appliances Award. and the Worked All Neighbors Award. These currents can burn your fingers on the CW key or your lips on the microphone, and they can cause computers and other devices to fall or stop working when you transmit. If you have an automatic antenna tuner, I've found that common mode current can cause it to malfunction. It might tune okay, but when you apply full power, they fault, indicating a really high SWR when you just tuned it out. So, what can you do about common mode current? It can be stopped by a balun, a balance to unbalanced device. Bow, balance to un, unbalanced. Balun. You could also call it a common mode choke, which is actually a better name for it. Your dipole antenna is balanced, but coax cable is not balanced. So use a ballon or a common mode choke at the antenna feed point, 50 ohms in and 50 ohms out. Now there's several ways to make a ballon, but they all place a high impedance between the antenna and the outer shield conductor number three. They're simple to make. You can uh, make one or buy one. You might need more than one. One where the coax connects to the antenna and another where the coax connects to your transceiver. What if your antenna is not balanced like an off-center fed dipole? A feed line can be attached to a dipole at any point, even at the end. Guess what that's called? An end-fed antenna. A lot of guys use them with good results. But these unbalanced antennas are especially prone to common mode current. Then you need not a ballon, but an onion. Not an onion. An onion. Unbalanced to unbalanced. Spelled U-N-U-N. -U -N. An onion can also be thought of as an impedance transformer. An off-center fed dipole is not going to have a 50 ohm impedance to match your coax. So an unin is typically made with a ratio of like 9 to 1. So if the feed point of the antenna has a much higher impedance than 50 ohms, the unin converts the impedance down something closer to 50 ohms and the rest of the mismatch is handled by your antenna tuner. With an unin, You'll probably also need a common mode choke between it and the coax because impedance transforming onions don't suppress common mode current. Now you can make or buy an onion that also has a common mode choke included in the same container. So, standing waves do not cause coax to radiate. The problem is common mode current caused by skin effect. If your feed line is coax, you will probably have it unless you use a ballon or a common mode choke. Consider subscribing to this channel in 73.